Welcome to one of my favorite places. I'm in a blind. It'll be daylight in 20 minutes. But the blind is sitting in front of a water hole in West Africa, Namibia. I'm with Dries Visor Safaris. This is a hot spot. I have a parade of animals into this water hole as soon as the sun comes up. Watch this. Thanks. We are going on John's Gensbach track. The shot was really perfect. Well, couldn't do it better. There's your Gensbach, my friend. Nice. He didn't win far, but oh. 70, 80 yards. Yeah. John, congratulations on this really, really good Gensbach. Thank you. Thank you. Excited about it. Been won one ever since the first time I've come to Africa. <laughs> The Gems Buck or Oryx, Oryx Gazella, easily among the most handsome antelope in Africa with their long rapier-like horns and painted faces. They have black and white face patterns and horse-like dark brown tails contrasting with their pale bodies. Massively built and thick-necked, they have an overall greyish fawn color with a pure white face and belly. Over this fawn covering, they have very dark brown patterns on the face, legs, flanks, rump and back, often appearing black. The average shoulder height reaches 48 inches with 37 inch horns, the record horn length being 48.8 inches. The gems buck is confined to the arid areas of the African continent. They are extremely shy and not easily hunted, mainly because of their good eyesight and sense of smell. Although shy, they are quick with their horns when threatened. They are almost exclusively grazers, but will survive by browsing from bushes and eating small herbs. They drink regularly if water is available, but can go without water indefinitely. By digging up roots and bulbs and eating fruits, the gems buck acquires and stores its needed water. They are very well adapted to live in a very hot, dry environment, allowing its body temperature to rise so as not to use the precious water through sweating as most other mammals do. Gems buck calve throughout the year, producing one offspring after nine months gestation. Gems buck is most probably one of the African animals that gets wounded the most. This is mainly because of bad shot placement. A gemsbuck has got a big hump on its back that can cause problems when picking the spot. When a gemsbuck is broadside, you can aim straight up the front leg, mid-body. The shoulder bones make a deep V towards the neck and therefore you can get away with shooting straight up the leg. It is very important not to shoot below mid-body as there are no vitals low behind the shoulder. Broadside. In this shot, the hunter made a good shot. However, if you look at the angle of the arrow flight, you can see that the arrow is coming from the left side of the camera. And thus, if he aimed a little more to the left, it could have been better. Watering away. This is an example of a textbook shot of a gems buck that is quartering away. You can clearly see that the hunter is aiming for the opposite leg, mid body. Quartering two.
in the shot, Dante was really lucky to miss the leg though. It is very risky to shoot any other big animals this way. Should you be in a situation like this, aim a bit higher than this shot to ensure that you miss the leg bone and get enough penetration. Look there, cover in blood. Oh yeah. What do you say now? <laughs> I think I got this one. <laughs> uh -huh, you got this one, you're right, eh? Okay, let's go and look for it, eh? Okay. Good. Right. Put a good shot on him. With my Matthews bow, uh, shooting a uh, 90 grain four blade muzzy broadhead with uh, gold tip arrows. Hey, congratulations, Morgan. Another good shot. Two good shots in one day. Lift his head up. See if you can lift his head up. Yeah. Oh, you want to see that horns? Very good. Congratulations. Oh, 